Welcome back. Uh, so what we're going to do today, get some water off here so I can sit down. It's been rainy all morning. Um, we're going to uh, try to get this metal out of this log that destroyed the band yesterday. And we're going to do a metal detector video. The old uh, age old question in metal detectors for me coming from the chainsaw milling and selling chainsaw milled lumber years ago to having the band mill now. The age old question is what do you do when you, you run a metal detector over something and you detect metal? Um, if it's a high dollar log, you're probably still going to mill it. Um, when I was chainsaw milling, I'd probably mill it anyway, regardless. Now, it's nice when you run a metal detector over and there's nails sticking out of the tree and you can pull them out, but what do you do when you can't see them? You know, you go to hacking a little bit, maybe wreck a chainsaw chain trying to find them. You start to balance these things out. So, you know, without getting too long-winded on that, let's, uh, we're going to talk metal detectors and um, a couple targets I found in this log. So, I have two metal detectors. I hope the view is going to be good. Uh, I'll try to stay in front of the camera as much as I can. Get some of the shit out of my way so I'll trip over it. Mark Spud. So I have what's called the Lumber Wizard 4. Um, and this works okay. And then I have a Harbor Freight metal detector. This works great um, so we have great and okay each one has its limitations this one um, on the harbor freight one and if you know if you're down on the harbor freight stuff you can watch you can watch the videos on the metal detector people the cult like metal detector people who go around metal detect shit and they have all the high dollar stuff and everything there's reviews on this thing all over those channels and for what it is and what it costs it it, it it operates perfectly. I'm going to show you what its limitations are here. Its limitations are basically it picks up metal too far away. And I'll show you that here on the mill. And then the Lumber Wizard, which is what I started with, um, I would say that its limitations are uh, it. it, it you have to be pretty close to what you find to find it. But that works to your advantage sometimes and to your disadvantage sometimes, and I'll show you why. Um, with this, uh, cost-wise, I'm, I'm not, I don't remember what this costs, but it's, they're not super expensive. You can pick them up on eBay. Um, and obviously with a, coup with a coupon, you can get these Harbor Freight ones really cheap. But anyway, picked up two targets. I'm going to show you the log really quick. In a, and I'll show you a function of each one and see if we pick up the same target. Um, I apologize for not having a script here, but that kind of is what it is. Um, so here's the log that, uh, the pitch pine that I destroyed that band on yesterday. You can see some of that beautiful red heart coming out right there. What's that on? Okay. Um, and you can see, if you didn't watch the video yesterday, the video kind of sucked, but you can see all the spots where I dug out the, I think there were six big nails here where I wrecked that, broached that bam. Now, I, don't, I can't see anything else in this log, but I am picking up targets with the Harbor Freight metal detector. And we're going to try to mark them out um, where Harbor Freight is telling me they are, and then we'll check them with the Lumber Wizard. And see if we can confirm and get the down a little closer and then we'll see if we can get them out um i did an axe sharpening video last night and i'm going to actually use that axe to find and see if i can get get them out so this um it's fairly the harbor freight one's a fairly simple uh thing overall uh, you know you it will you can turn the sensitivity, you're probably going to want to turn it almost down to zero on this thing. 
because it will pick stuff up pretty far away. Let me see what your view looks like. So I'll show you. I'm going to tilt you down for just a second. Hopefully, I remember to tilt you up. But it'll pick up this bunk. This. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit so you can hear it better. So you can see, I'm a good, even with the sensitivity turned all the way down, I'm a good eight inches away from that bunk, and it's picking up now. It does seem to pick it up right in the middle of this circle, so we'll try to use that to our advantage too. And you can see that it picks up the log dog fairly far away from it, and it'll pick it up from the side too, shooting out this way. At least that's been my experience. See, just to confirm that, if you look down, sorry, if you look down at the bed rail here, see it's picking up the bed rail from this far away outside here. So it picks up in this direction. It picks up in this direction as well as down. Let me grab a crayon here because I'm going to show you. This uh, detecting metal with this would be better not on the mill. If you were just out in the yard, it would be better because this is, this can pick up the mill. Um, hopefully you're seeing that. Yeah. So we're going to go up here on the log. I had a target over here somewhere. Somewhere in here. So it's somewhere right here. And that would be consistent with what with these other nails here in a line. And I may even see some discoloring there. So maybe that one's gonna be easy to find. But to check out here. Nothing here. Still picking up that one. And then we have a target over here, too. So it's somewhere right here. And then what we'll do, and you know, I hope hopefully I'm not picking up residual metal from, you know, that broke off or something like that. Let's check the rest of the cant here. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't think there was when I checked it. That's that one. And I'm not picking. So this one, this is a good example. The log dogs out here. See that? So if I get out too much, it's picking up the log dogs. The log dogs up pretty high. And hopefully, yeah, the log dogs here too. But this is picking up a hard target in the log. So it doesn't look like there's anything else in it. I think, I'm, I think I'm picking up that dog, but I'll double check over here. So, that's the Harbor Freight one. And make sure we turn it off so they don't go dead when you pick them up and need them. Now let's check the Lumber Wizard. Now what the Lumber Wizard uh, has sound, it has a laser, and it has a fine-tune button. And what you need to do with a fine-tune button on this, and you need to kind of calibrate it every time. If you want to put it down on whatever you're going to be detecting on, you want to turn it on, and then you want to turn the fine-tune until it starts beeping. I have, oh, I didn't have the sound on. You want to turn it till it just turns off. So 
you want to leave it till it just turns off. And we're going to go over these targets and see if it picks them up. So it is picking up this one. It kind of picks up right in this area. There's a laser there. It's picking up that one. Let's make sure that it's working here. We'll go ahead and show you on the mill. So it's picking up that one. It's picking up this one. Let's go down and check over here. So it's not picking up. I think the Harbor Freight was picking up the log dog there. Oh, the log stop. So that's this one. Um, let's see if we can get these dug out. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this like, obviously I have to take another cut off this log. I understand that. So I'm going to treat this like I want to take a one inch waste as little as I possibly ha can take a one inch slab off this log. So I'm going to try go less than an inch deep when I take these out or when, if, when I try to find them because right now I don't see them. Um, stuff up here. I wonder if I can get around the other side. I'm going to go around the other side. And can kind, of, kind of be in your view. Yeah. Get this up a little bit. So first thing we're going to try and do is we're going to try and take a chunk out with my newly sharpened axe right where this is kind of like this and see if all of a sudden it exposes itself and like I was saying I may see a hole here so or, or not a hole but some discoloration that would be great if it's right on top and I don't hold high hopes for that because there is a lot of little bug holes and stuff like that in here but anyway let's see if we can take a chunk out here Cool. So I found this nail, or, or I found the hole it's in. I actually might have, if I got a ding in the edge. I do have a ding in the edge. I think I just knocked it out. Yep. It looks, oh, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. it's right here. I hit it and I moved it. Hopefully I didn't break it. All right, so we found that one. While I get the hatchet in my hand, let's see if we can find this one. So that's good because that's all the metal that's in the top of this, or at least we think. Yeah, I see something. Starting to see something. I think I see it. Get the right spot, that'd be great. Yep, found this one too. Alright, so that's good. That's good. Get these two out. Try and do something a little different here. I'm gonna try and set my circular saw for about an inch, <laughs> a little less than an inch deep, 
and I'm going to cut a couple of curves across here so I can chip out in between them. I've never tried this before, so this is actually something new. I was just sitting there pulling out all my stuff, and I said, hey, maybe that'll work. So let's just, I'm going to go just less than an inch on this. And if I can just kind of pull myself a line across next to it on both sides. It'll give me something to chip out in between. Hopefully, uh, I can do that with a hammer and that hatchet. Let's do the same thing over here. Let me show you these two pieces of metal. Well, let me, I'm going to grab my hammer really quick. So the instant moral of this story is that those uh, both those metal detectors picked up these targets. So oh, if I get you know, in the light, there's one of them right there, and I the heads over here at the tip of my finger, I hit it with the hatchet, pushed it over, so that one should come right out. And then here's the other one right here. They were right where those metal detectors said they were. So let's try I'll go around the other side and try to dig these out we'll work on this one first I'll move you over and show you that one so I think what I can do now is take my hammer and beat this hatchet in next to it and take this chunk out hopefully without hitting the metal Go to the metal. Nice. Almost got it. It has you sitting right there. There's no sense in trying to save the newly sharpened hatchet because you know this is what it's for, so if it hits metal, it hits metal. Now I might because of how this one is, I was just thinking I might be able just to grab this with the um hold on, let me grab a different hammer. and repair work that I've been doing in the field over the last year. I get all kinds of cool little items in the truck. Oh, don't want to break it. So if I could get, let's see if I can get it over a little bit. That. Go with if I can go with this, I should be able to, this will give me the leverage to pull it out if I get it locked onto it. Just not deep enough for this, I don't think. Oh man, it's really close. Nope. Let's try to get the hammer on it. Nope, not that way, it's just I don't have enough material moved. Let's just take a chunk out right here. There we 
go. Get this thing on here. Just, yep, it's coming. Nice. So, another nail. And let's see what we can do with this other one. This other one's still below the surface. We get you, uh, throw this in the burn barrel. Get you a better view of the other one. We'll see if we can get this one out. And I might actually get to do some milling today. That'd be awesome. I wonder if I can change here. So, <coughs> all right, yeah, let's do that. All right, so let's see the. Now this isn't. There's no process here. You can do whatever you want. Um, this isn't the only way to do it. It's. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it. These are pretty deep, obviously. I got my sledgehammer now that bangs the sacks in a little bit better. It's the first time I've ever tried it with the circular saw cutting curves. There we go. Look at that. Perfect head. So if I just learned something from the other one, I want to take out a little material on the side so I can get the hammer down in there. That axe cuts nice. And okay, I need a little more material out of the side here. Without hitting, just if I get just a little teeny more, and without hitting that nail as much as I can. There's one thing's for sure that using that uh, kerf with the circular saw definitely gave you something to cut in between. You could just do it without it, obviously. You could just keep going to hatch it and see if we can get this on it now. Still got a little hump here I gotta get out. I wanna give myself the best chance of getting this whole nail out. I don't wanna break it off now. Because if this is the last one, if this is the last one, this is the last one in this whole log. This would be a huge hurdle to overcome. Nice. There it is. So what I'm going to do now, clean up my tools. We'll check it again. Um, hopefully there isn't like something just off to the side here or something like that. We'll check it with both Get my tools out of the way and then I think I'm gonna grab my stuff and grab a band and See if I can go to building on this log Stuff out of the way Wood chips And if we only wasted a very uneven Uh, one inch board here that'd be great so let's first let me get you back up your view here I haven't gone I have not gone an inch deep so I can cut a nice one inch truing pass off this okay let's get you over here now we'll try it with the lumber wizard first check it the thing I like about the Lumber Wizard is that it picks up closer, so it's almost a good secondary check to this one. This one picks up everything. If you go along the dirt, let's try here. Here, let's try a. Let's get over and there's some dirt over here. Now I don't have it extended, so I got to bend over. If you go over dirt, you will find metal with this. Period. Watch this.
just random out in the middle of dirt. Pick a spot. You can go around. You'll find metal here. So this thing picks up, the Harbor Freight one picks up everything. And some of them are going to be false targets on logs. <coughs> and I think that might be why, because I was really never crazy about the Lumber Wizard. It has, I used to use it a lot in the beginning. But, um, Picking something up out here. Okay. So that's another target. And we're gonna delve into this one here. It's another target, and um, there's no metal. Oh. I'm going to turn the laser on and see if I can. Oh, I can't see it in the sunlight. Keep it off. So it's about this far in. And about this far over. So it's somewhere right in here. Let's check it with the uh, Harbor Freight. Actually, let me, let me do this. Let me check the side here with this. picking it up from the side, it's just on the top. Let's check it with a harbor freight. Looks like it's like right there. We'll dig this one out too. Lord knows my videos like to get long. And it's right where the other one said. Where the other one set is right in the middle of the cone. Right here. So let's do this different. I'm going to cut a couple of curves. I don't care if I hit it with a circular saw blade. And then we'll take the chunk out and see, rather than just wailing on it all willy-nilly like. hammer out, we'll go sledging. We're going to start on the side of it a little bit, see if we can expose it without, without banging into it. Hopefully we find it. I'll go on this side a little bit. Hopefully these all were put in at the same time and they're all the same depth. Nothing yet. It's like a treasure hunt, kind of. Nothing yet. That's not good. without cutting the nail off or whatever it is. Don't see it yet. Don't see it yet. This might be 
do some measurements, but actually might end up being a candidate for cutting the end of this log off. I can't find it. Hoping I can. It's going to be somewhere near the top because the lumber wizard picked it up. Kind of can see some black there. This way. Starting to get close, perilously close to that inch deep thing. Huh. Yeah, see, here's this. This right here is the epitome of the problem. What do you do when you detect it and you can't find it? check again for it. You know, is there a possibility that I missed it? I mean, it's, is there a possibility that it was shallow and it came out with one of the chunks? Maybe. Might be a little more this way. Take that chunk out. Nope. And because there's a taper on the bottom of this log that comes right to here. This would be a candidate for just cutting this right off. Let's try a little more. I'm not going to give up yet. Yeah. This may be showing me a little bit further up this way. Oh, let's do a test. I know what we can do. Let's do a test and see where... Oh, I want to calibrate the wood. Where...
might be further up this way. Kind of like the Harbor Freight thing showed. So, let's just do it. This is probably going to make the end of the slog useless. Let's take out another chunk this way just to be sure. This is what happens when you mill. Oh, I think I got it. Way down in there, that's for sure. I think I got it. You can see it, I think. Question is, am I going to be able to get it? Let me uh, measure this log. I don't want to go below nine feet. But just my oh, uh oh, I know where it is. It's on the floor. Starting to get pretty deep here. Just see how long we are with this. Yeah, it's eight foot six if I cut it off right there. So let me uh, let me fire up the little MS one eighty right here. Let's we'll see if we can dig in a little bit. See if we can see what it is. I can see the mark without screwing the chain up on this thing, and uh, I need some run time on this. It was running like shit. Let's get you, uh, see where your view is here. Hopefully you've been watching me. Oh, man. Hopefully, oh yeah, you can see me. So, I'll show you from the other side in a second. Let me see if I can get the MS-180 fired up and see if we can take and find out what it is. Maybe we can get it out. It's pretty deep. It's over, it's almost two inches deep. Hopefully this thing will fire up here.
see if she fires up. that chunk out of there and see what it is. Bring it around. And, you know, you'd be right behind me if I do. So I cut about a half inch below it on both sides, maybe three quarters. If I get this chunk out of here. Might be able to chip away at it with a screwdriver and get it. Let me get you over here and show you what I'm doing. It's not just watching me work. <coughs> So it's, it is right where the metal detector said it was. Get you sitting on some of this bark here. Uh, I can feel it is metal. And that's how deep it picked it up. So, you know, I think that's a really good example of, oh, and it fucking figures it's a screw. It's a screw. Yep, it's a screw. I think it's, yeah, it's definitely a screw. Shit. Well, let's see if I can back it out with this. looks like a screw that's been in the tree a long time too that's way down in there oh, broke it it's definitely a screw so I'm going to come right down this line right here and just cut this straight off. And that's going to be right where the taper is on the bottom anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just ruining it in the log anyway. So let's just cut it off. Hopefully I don't hit that screw on the way down. Get some of this shit out of the way. It's going to get loud. Hopefully it is. No, that's part of the problem of trying to get too close. I just hit it. I might be able to tear it out now because I got a lot of it exposed. 
didn't foresee it going in that direction. Of course, that chain smoke now. Ain't one thing, it's another. You just start adding up your time at this point. If I was milling a customer's log, they'd be getting milled, billed for all this, but it's not, it's my log. So let's get the hatchet. I can just cut this chunk out of here. It's getting really close. So you can see the screw there. I have a feeling it's going to break where the uh, chain, chain, the chainsaw chain hit it. Oh, it's turning. Yep, it's turning. Okay, so if I take some of this out here, I'm gonna move you back. No, as long as you turn your uh, turn your volumes down. See if I have enough chain left on this thing to dig in a little deeper here. I don't know if I do or not. Pretty whoop. Let's try it. chunk out of there now now I should be able to turn the now I should be able to turn the channel lock I mean the uh, vice grips yep here it comes so the good part about getting this out was that if I had tried to go deep here and mill underneath those those uh, other nails, I would have hit this for sure. And that those both of those metal detectors picked that up way down inside here. You can see uh, the depth, you know, is is significant. So both of those metal detectors work and work well. So I know this video is getting long. Um, let me get you back on me here. I know these videos are getting long. Um, that seems like a lot of work to do for, you know, for what it was to save this log. But I still have eight foot six good on this log. Um, it's only being cut for floorboards in a barn. Uh, you saw the Lumber Wizard and there's the Harbor Freight and yeah, they both work uh, When I flip this over So I'm gonna make a skim cut on this side to take off probably an inch Just to flatten it. So when I flip it over, I'm kind of 
kind of true. Might be able to save a couple of boards out of it somehow that way. Um, yeah, because it'll get me below all the other things that I did. So one inch will get me to that at eight foot six. Uh, and then I'll flip the whole thing over and I'll mill it from the other side. And I will check the, the top on that other side. Now I cut two other sides on this and didn't touch a piece of metal. So <laughs> it's kind of where we are. It's, uh, I, I hope uh, I hope that helps somebody out. You know, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Uh, the Harbor Freight one, if you just if you metal detect your logs on the ground, that thing is great. This is the only problem is is it's going to pick stuff up pretty deep. Um, and then the Lumber Wizard, um, it works. You know, you got to keep batteries in it. It kills batteries. And I think what I'll do is every time I put it away, I'm going to take the 9 volt out of it. Because my experience has been that every time, you know, I need it, like, I'll go a year or a year and a half and not need it. And then all of a sudden, every time I go to pull it out, it's dead. So, um, there's my review. And uh, you guys got to see in real time three buried pieces of metal that one significantly buried that you was no obvious spot where they were where those metal detectors picked them up and showed me where to you know to go at it so that's it uh hopefully we'll uh we'll shoot one milling this thing off i uh, appreciate the watch